Welcome to today's video, where we will be discussing the topic of strainers in piping engineering. Strainers are an essential component in pipelines that are used to filter out unwanted particles from fluids. In this video, we will answer three frequently asked questions about strainers in piping engineering. Firstly, we will discuss the definition of a strainer in piping engineering and its purpose in a pipeline. Secondly, we will explore the different types of strainers that are commonly used in piping engineering, including Y-type strainers, basket strainers, duplex strainers, and T-strainers. Lastly, we will provide guidance on how to select the appropriate strainer for your piping system, based on several factors such as the type of fluid being transported, the size of the pipeline, the flow rate, the pressure rating, and the required level of filtration. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of strainers in piping engineering and be equipped with the knowledge to select the right strainer for your specific application. So, let's dive in. The first question we will address is, what is a strainer in piping engineering? In simple terms, a strainer is a device that is used to filter out solid particles from fluids passing through a pipeline. Strainers are installed in the pipeline upstream of sensitive equipment such as pumps and control valves to protect them from damage caused by debris or particulate matter. In piping engineering, strainers are designed to remove particles that are larger than a certain size, typically measured in microns. The size of the strainer mesh or filter element determines the size of particles that can be filtered out. Strainers are available in different configurations, including Y-type strainers, basket strainers, duplex strainers, and T-strainers. The specific type of strainer used in a pipeline depends on several factors such as the size of the pipeline, the type of fluid being transported, and the level of filtration required. Overall, strainers play a critical role in maintaining the integrity of a pipeline and protecting downstream equipment. The second question we will address is, what are the types of strainers used in piping engineering? There are several types of strainers commonly used in piping engineering, each with its own unique design and filtering capabilities. Firstly, Y-type strainers are shaped like a Y and are installed horizontally or vertically. They typically have a removable screen or filter element that can be cleaned or replaced. Secondly, basket strainers are cylindrical in shape and have a removable basket-shaped filter element that can be cleaned or replaced. These are commonly used for applications that require high flow rates or large particle removal. Thirdly, duplex strainers have two parallel chambers that allow for continuous operation while one chamber is being cleaned. They are typically used for applications that require uninterrupted flow and cannot be shut down for maintenance. Lastly, T-strainers are T-shaped and are installed in a pipeline. They typically have a removable screen or filter element and are used for smaller diameter pipelines or low-flow applications. The specific type of strainer used in a pipeline depends on several factors such as the type of fluid being transported, the size of the pipeline, the flow rate, and the required level of filtration. It is important to consult with a piping engineer or strainer manufacturer to determine the appropriate type and size of strainer for your specific application. The third question we will address is, how do I select the right strainer for my piping system? The selection of a strainer for a piping system depends on several factors, including the type of fluid being transported, the size of the pipeline, the flow rate, the pressure rating, and the level of filtration required. The first step in selecting the right strainer is to determine the size of the strainer based on the size of the pipeline. The strainer should be appropriately sized to ensure that it can handle the flow rate of the fluid without creating excessive pressure drop. Next, consider the level of filtration required based on the type of fluid being transported. Different fluids have different particle sizes and shapes, so the strainer mesh or filter element should be selected based on the size of particles that need to be removed. It is also important to consider the pressure rating of the strainer and ensure that it can handle the maximum pressure in the pipeline without failure. Lastly, the strainer selected should be easy to maintain and clean to minimize downtime and reduce maintenance costs. Some strainers have removable screens or filter elements that can be cleaned or replaced, while others may require more complex maintenance procedures. 
Overall, selecting the appropriate strainer for your piping system requires a thorough understanding of the system's parameters and the specific requirements for particle removal. Consultation with a piping engineer or a strainer manufacturer is recommended to determine the most appropriate strainer for your application. And that brings us to the end of our video on strainers and piping engineering. We hope that this video has provided you with a better understanding of what strainers are, the types of strainers commonly used in piping engineering, and how to select the appropriate strainer for your piping system. Remember, strainers play a critical role in protecting downstream equipment from damage caused by debris or particulate matter, so it's essential to select the right strainer for your specific application. If you have any questions or comments about strainers in piping engineering, please leave them in the comments section below, and we will do our best to answer them. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on engineering topics.